Welcome to week four, perhaps the most challenging week of the entire class, possibly. Uh, it's a big one. We got two chapters to finish and a midterm exam to get through, so a lot going on. But, you know, I've done this many times. We'll get through it. You'll be fine. Before we talk about that, let's talk about an historical event that happened on Thursday, September 8th. Queen of England passed away. Big moment. This is a, you know, a, a person that's known in the world. Uh, you know, a, a world personality that everybody knows. And, you know, as Americans, we think, what is this monarchy all about? You know, kings, queens, dukes, duchesses. We don't have that here. In fact, the people that came to America, star a new country way back, they came to get away from that. They, because in those days, the, the monarchy was oppressive and forced the state religion on you and expected you to do a certain you know, live a certain way. And if you didn't, it might cost you your life. And you had no real opportunity, no, no, no chance for, to, to own land, which of course was the key to wealth in those days. Uh, of course, the monarchy isn't like that anymore. And in, in fact, truly, they really are more like figureheads. The, the people that make decisions in England are the prime minister and, and parliament, much like our president in Congress, you know, that's the same as their parliament in, in prime minister. But then, but then they have this monarchy and the queen, and all this kind of pomp and, and lavish ceremonies and so on. So uh, what, what purpose do they serve? I mean, they, they, they really are figureheads, okay? That's really what they are. Uh, and, and people have said we should abolish the monarchy and get rid of it. You know, there's, there's lots of poverty in London. People, you know, live in hand to mouth or, or worse, and, but yet... We're jet, jet setting these people around the world to go to ceremonies and meet heads of state. And they live in these lavish castles. It costs hundreds of millions of dollars a year to support them. Do we need them? Do, do we need to have that? Of course, I'm talking about English people here. But then the queen dies, and you see the outpouring of grief and sorrow from the English people. They're beside themselves. They don't, they don't know what to do. How are we going to move on without our queen? So even though she's perhaps not you know, a, a person of authority, she, she really, or, or she or he now, do represent some, some sort of, you know, uh, uh, safety for the English people and they feel secure knowing that there's a monarch there. So it's interesting, we've had a queen 70 years. Elizabeth II took over for her father, King George VI in 1952. But now with her passing, we're gonna have a number of, few generations at least of of kings. Why is that? Because the queen's oldest son, Charles, is now the king. His son, William, will become the king when Charles, you know, is it passes on or, or abdicates. And then William's son will take over for him. So we have at least three generations of kings unless something strange happens, and it happens on, on occasion. So we're not going to have a queen for a very long time. So people mourn that. You know, the, the, that was the queen. That was the kind of the, the symbol uh, the, the kind of maternal uh, attachment to the country is now gone, okay? So interesting, um, big moment in history. Okay, I can't put it off any longer. Let's talk about week four. It's a tough one. So I already posted the instructions for the midterm exam uh, Thursday, September 8th. And please look at those as an announcement. You'll know, you know, the dates of part one, part two, what I'm looking for, okay? Uh, we do have two chapters to get through first, so I'm, again, I post this on Friday. Uh, get a jump on it if you can. Try to get six and seven read, and I would even suggest you get your chapter quizzes out of the way. Get that done. Get that done. Try to get that done by Tuesday. And this is just a suggestion, but get that done by Tuesday, Tuesday evening or late afternoon. I'll, I'll post a study guide, and uh, that will be written instructions and a video tutorial, okay? So... Uh, Go ahead and um, you know check that out. Look at that. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, and then the following day, Wednesday, the, the midterm exam opens. Uh, Wednesday through Saturday, oh, it's open for four full days. So I'm trying to give you you know a fair amount of time. It's an online class, so I don't know your schedule. I don't know what you're when you're available. Not a face-to-face -face class where we sit in class and do our exams. So I'll give you four days to let it fit into your schedule and give you time to study also. So, uh, so go ahead and do that. Um, I am going to have one more Zoom session uh, next week. Or the, I'm sorry, this the week of week four. 
uh, which, which would be what the 13th, September 13th, Zoom session, noon to 2 p.m. Drop into my Zoom session. I I, I post the link every Tuesday morning. Uh, every Tuesday morning, as I've said before, the link works for the entire year, but I post it just to remind you. Or you can set up a private time with me. <clears throat> uh, I I did get a chance to grade discussion board number one, and uh, <clears throat> That that was for the most part done very well. I was quite pleased with that. You know the the the, the people that are getting points off are just just doing kind of si they're simple fixes. You know don't don't give me one paragraph replies. Give me two full paragraph replies. Make sure that your main post is four full paragraphs. You know that type of thing. Uh, but for the most part, people did very well. Uh, the the Columbus discussion boards probably one of the more shocking ones or the ones that I get the most. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. So I mean, I think by now we all know that Columbus wasn't perhaps the hero we learned about in the second grade. Uh, but the extent of his depravity and abuse, perhaps you didn't know. Uh, you know, uh, massacring people and mutilating people and you know awful stuff all in in the name of what greed you know power wealth so uh that's probably the that that's a it's a popular discussion board because people are shocked okay if you have any questions or comments please let me know have a great week thank you